welcome to my channel if you have not seen me before. My name is Dwaja and I make DIY home decor videos. Those are usually small scale projects uh, which I try to get inspired from some of the high end decor websites or probably just my own ideas. So if you like to watch those type of videos, you will definitely enjoy the content that I posted on my channel. Don't forget to check out other videos on my channel right after this video. It's gonna come in the suggestion as well at the end of this video. And let's get started with today's video. So to get started, I had to start with some mirror shapes. It's very common in India. It was easy for me to get it as well. I got four different shapes of mirrors. One was this very nice rectangle shape, which I saw it for the first time, even though I have lived in India, it is things are so evolved. So this is the previous, uh, this the shape that I was impressed by. Also, I got some traditional shapes as well, which is this round shape, but it also comes in a different sizes. So I got the larger and the small both size. And lastly, I got this shape which i would call a water drop shape or probably something which is a flower petal or something like that it's so pretty it's, it's curvy so i probably got a mixture of a straight and simple to the curvy designs i wanted to make it look more modern so i did not opt it for just and just for the traditional designs i wanted to go with some minimalist designs as well i laid them on to MDF board that I was going to work on. And I also had this centerpiece mirror, which I actually got from my broken makeup palette. I broke it a few years ago. My parents saved it for me and I was going to use in this mirror art. So before I finalized the design, I had to work around that. So I used the bigger piece of mirror as a centerpiece of the art that I was going to make. And then I started to work around that. Somehow I felt that the rectangle shape was not really working out with the design that I wanted to create. So I had to take them out. So now I had three designs that I was going to work with. One is the flower petal shape. Other one is the round mirrors in two sizes, smaller and larger. There was a lot of trial and error before I finalized the design. Somehow I ended up with a design like this. So inner edge of the border will be bigger mirrors and the outer edge will be small mirrors. Both of them will be in the round shape. This was the easiest way I could find to work around with the border and I think it turned out very pretty something that I have never seen before because before making this I went to the Pinterest and did some Instagram research I have never seen that so this is something that I was impressed that I could actually make water from the supplies that I already had now the last task was for me to fill out the MDF board with different kind of mirrors that I have left in my supplies so I decided to go with some floral designs and some scattered pieces as well because I did not want to make it look uniform I wanted a little bit of organic shapes as well and this is how I finalized my design now this was a time for me to stick them on to the MDF board for that I was going to use white school glue which dries clear but before that I had to take the accurate measurements of these MDF bow. So I was going to start from the center and then I work my way to the outer edges of the MDF bow. And for my center piece, I was going to use the larger size of rectangle mirror and stick them up with the white school glue, as I said. Now, the task was to put the mirrors on the outer edge. It looked easy when I was making design, but somehow I realized that it's a little bit of a process. It takes a lot of patience to do that. I have never really worked with uh, this smaller portions of art and crafts. So this was also a patience test for me. Somehow it worked out really well. Uh, it's also, I wanted to make it look handmade, perfect and I did not want it to have it a professional touch so I did not use any tool to do that. So 
I covered my first layer with the inner edge of the border which is with the round big mirrors and on the outer edge I did the smaller mirrors as I said. Now the task was and then I decided to go with a change in my design. The design that I made earlier wasn't really working out so I decided to go with a little bit of uniform design just like this so I added paddles on four sides of the mirror so it looks uniform and on the remaining portion of the MDF board I decided to go organic so I had some remaining pieces of mirror larger and smaller round mirrors so I just wanted to go organic with that so as I said in the beginning beginning of the video I wanted to make it look organic as well as uniform modern and aesthetic so this was the design I went ahead and lastly to complete the mirror art you probably have to fill the mirror art with the putty so I'm not really sure this is the right way to do it this worked out for me for sure but I have seen different Indian artists using white cement and that works as well but I did not want to go with the white cement so I used this because I had it in my home and this can also be used for textured art as well and consistency of this is really good but it's an acrylic putty so this is made from synthetic compounds which is not white cement I did a patch test as well and it was working just as a normal putty so I went ahead and did the filling on my mirror art So for this, I had to make sure that it covers the every edges, every corners of the mirror art and that was a little bit of tricky part because I have never done it so there were some patches that was not really letting the paste in so I had to push it down to make sure that it touches the MDF board and I also had to do two coats of this paste because the first coat dried up very quickly and also ha it had some cracks after it got dried so I had to fill the cracks and I had to do another coat as well I let both of those coats coat dry for about 24 hours and then with the warm water and the sponge I took off the dry paste off of the mirror that also is a little bit of a process as well but overall this art itself is also about finding your own design creating your own design and finding ways to work around with that so it was an amazing experience and i believe i did a great job in terms of doing it for the first time without guidance let me know what you think comment and subscribe to my channel because that will help me to create my own YouTube community. So once again, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.